Mozario here with Mozario Design. Welcome to my channel. This is part five of a 10 part series. We're doing some uh, 3D CAD designing. Uh, if you've been following along, I appreciate your support. We'll go to our uh, top right quadrant of the grid. Uh, we're going to go to uh, Create Sketch, left click, and we're going to do a line we're doing line segments now for something like this we can go ahead and just um let's uh do uh solid lines without construction lines so the first measurement we're going to put in is uh 50 millimeters and i like to note also that all of the all of the dimensions are in uh metric so um if by chance your program is by default in SAE or Imperial then you can go to your document settings and change it from there so I have mine set as a default for a millimeter and then when you go to inch you can set as default but I have mine a millimeter so we're going to start at the origin kind of hover over it and you see a snap left click it drag it over and you can type it in. This is much faster than trying to eyeball stuff or whatever. But you can go ahead and type it in. 50 mil. This would be for the width of the part. And for the length of the part, it's going to be 100 millimeters. So you, as you see how when you hover with the mouse, it kind of locks on and kind of snaps. Uh, it snaps perpendicular. And if it's outside of, you know, perpendicular, you can actually set the degree amount too, but like I said, we, we're going to get into that a little later. So we're going to type 100. And then just do the same thing. Drag it down. Use it as a parameter. And it locks it in at 50. And then you can do it again. All right, there we have it. So we have a basic profile. Now we can extrude this. So what you want to do is finish the sketch, left click it, finish. Uh, hold down shift key, the shift key and the middle button on your mouse and it's going to allow you to orbit. Or you could just press the little home button right there, the little home icon and it'll put you isometric. Go ahead and extrude. And our first extrusion is going to be only uh, 20 millimeters. Okay, there you have it. A little quick 20. Okay, all right, so uh, next, what we want to do is draw on the base of this uh, extrusion of this part. Um, go ahead and left click it, create sketch, and it's going to put us back up in top view. Then we want to uh, project this face onto our drawing canvas. Go to create, project, left click, click the face, press OK. And now we can draw on the face and you see it incorporates segments of that face onto our canvas. So everything we do is, is gonna, you know, so as it, you see how it kind of selects a profile so that's what we want. Now we can uh, draw some construction lines. Or, you know, as a matter of fact, we don't even have to do that yet. Um, let's see. Yeah, let's do a couple of construction lines because we do have to set some parameters. So we're going to go up to the line function and you click over to the sketch pal palette and left click construction. So we're going to uh, work on another extrusion okay so that second extrusion is that little tower that's roughly 60 millimeters by 30 so we're going to do the first measurement which is the width of that little tower which is 30 mil okay and then we're going to do a solid line and just drag it over from there okay so uh with that we can finish the sketch okay and now we have a selectable uh 
profile this is what we're going to extrude up right off the surface so you want to left click extrude go up now here's where you have to do some math right the dimensions that are given um i mean they're pretty straightforward right the overall height of the part is 60 millimeters but the base that we initially extrude is only 20. so to, to get the difference you gotta subtract 60 minus 20 is 40 so you're only going up 40 millimeters there you have it okay so next what we could do is draw on this face okay so you left click th that face and you see it highlights blue and you want to create sketch and it's going to allow us to draw on the face now to get our segments and everything for that face to again coincide with the um with the canvas with the drawing uh plane we want to go to create again project click that press ok and there you have it now we can break it down a little bit further because we have to put a uh, half of a circle and uh on this surface okay so we're going to do a line segment we're going to do a construction line the first one is going to be 20 no 10 okay and then you do another one next one is 30. it's pretty straightforward as you can see and then next one is 10 okay and now with this, you can see you, you can see where if you go to the mid, like the middle of that of this line segment, it's gonna snap at the midpoint. And you see the it came up. That's the icon for a midpoint. It's a constraint. So we're gonna use that to draw a line down the middle. Okay, we're gonna need this line. I'm gonna show you why. So uh, with that. Let's see. It doesn't give a dimension. I thought it did, but it doesn't look like it did. Actually, it does. I see what's going on. So the distance from this side and this side is 30, right? So that means the diameter of the circle uh, is 30 millimeters. Okay. So what you have to do with that, this would be the center of it right here. You go to the center diameter circle, it's going to select it by default, make it a solid line as opposed to a construction line. Okay, go to the center, left click it, type in 30. Okay, there it is, and it locked it in place. So now we're going to trim it, go left click on trim, there you have it. So now we have um, our um, diameter. And now we can extrude. Okay, go ahead, and finish this sketch, and it's a selectable profile. Go ahead, and left, uh, left click it, extrude, and I know it doesn't show on the the page like the initial page, um, but the extrusion goes all the way down actually. So you want to extrude all the way through the part. You kind of see it cuts automatically when it goes uh, through the part, the program by default cuts. But if you extrude going in the opposite direction into a clear space, it tends to either join or create a new body. Um, that would look cool and all, but that's not the part we're designing. We're gonna go all the way down, right through the part. You kind of see it goes right through. Press okay, and there we have it. So you see, we're moving right along. This is it's fairly easy, okay? The next part we're gonna do is that center triangle that goes from this face to this face, right? It's an easy way to doing that. So let's go to the top view. We wanna select this face, create sketch, and we're gonna do a couple of uh, construction lines so same thing construction and you see how it snaps to the midpoint that's exactly what we want drag it to the end now from this point 
we put in five because we're splitting that uh that uh, portion of the part right down the middle right because we're working in the middle of the part right now so same thing type in five it locks it in and then you want to drag it down and you see how it snaps okay now it's pretty redundant so what we can do actually is go ahead and trim these construction lines because we already have the parameters set for five millimeters uh, from the center of the part going to each side so I'm gonna turn that off the construction lines and we're going to do a couple of solid lines you see how it just snaps okay all right press enter and you see when you press enter you can see what's selectable and this uh, surface we created is selectable so go ahead and finish the sketch okay orbit and you see we drew right on the face that's what we want to do now select that profile we created extrude here's a cool feature of the uh, program when you go to extrude up um, or to a adjacent surface you can choose the surface well let's make sure we do new body okay now when you go to select this surface you can snap to it and you don't have to worry about typing it in. It's just a little quicker uh, because if you're doing this on a job, you want to be as quick and as as and if, as efficient as you can, uh, as you can be. So you want to, you know, just a little shortcut instead of just typing it in. Um, but go ahead and press OK. All right. So now we have our extrusion, right? Now we want to break this down. Go ahead. You can click on either face. You can click on this face or you can click on this face. I'm just click on this face all right create sketch and now we want to split this face in half at a diagonal from one corner to this corner go ahead just we're going to do a solid line go ahead select that select that uh, press enter and there you have it okay now you want to finish the sketch now we're going to extrude, but with this extrusion, um, we're going to select this profile, extrude, and we want to go through that portion of the part. You see how I cut it away? That's what we want. Press OK, and now we have that. So we're moving right along. It's, it's really simple as you can see. Okay, so next we're going to go uh, we're going to work on this portion here. We have to put in that uh, cutout, that little slot cutout. And again, it's, it's easy. Uh, let's select this face. Okay, so create sketch. All right. Now we have to project. And we want to select this face to project. And now we can draw right on it. And again, all of the segments dealing with that face we can you know it, it's selectable now we can interact with it and everything now we have to do some construction lines because it's going to get a little tricky go ahead scope to line the distance the first distance we need to type in is 20 mil the next distance we need to type in is 30 mil okay we have our set parameters now now what we can do Let's see the height of that slot is only 10 millimeters so we can do another prime uh, set another parameter it's called 10 there we have it so you're basically working within this space here and you know if you go beyond this space you probably did something wrong well actually let me stop myself right there it's a bit of a parameter, but it's a bit over constrained. So let's see. Let me go back up. We're going to put in that 10. Okay. All right. We're good now. So this face is still selectable. We have our height of the slot. We have the width of the slot coming from the bottom here. Yeah, I'm going to show you all something. So what we have to do, let's turn off 
the construction line and we're going to create the angle of you know the, the slot uh, the side walls for the slot okay so we in order to do that you want to do a solid line and we're going to go to our first parameter which is that 30 and we want to go this way at a 45 degree okay so what we do uh, we can type in let's see we can lock in 10 let's see there it is that's not going to work because we're going at an angle it's not the same um, we're going to let's see go here we'll lock it in at 20 at 20 there we go and we'll lock in the degree at 45 okay now you see how it went the other way so what we have to do we got to do some math right because it's 360 degrees in a circle half a circle is 180 uh quadrant is 90 like that so we got to figure out let's see so in order when you do a 45 degree it's going to go this way actually it look like it locks in either way you just have to move the mouse because i was going to say if you do it this way you can um type in let me see 270 here go that way uh 180 we're complicating it now so let's just do 45 and we're going to select in this direction we're going to lock it in you want to press enter and then you want to do it again but you want to do it from this point right so you want to lock in your distance we're going to lock in at 20 and the degree is going to be 45 okay press enter and now you just um what we do we take a lot solid line and you saw that 10 that we put go ahead and just take it across you can actually connect it to this segment here and then we're going to trim away There you have it. Okay, press enter. And you see, you can select it as its own profile, right? Exactly what we want. Finish the sketch. Okay, select this profile, left click it, extrude, drag the arrow through the part, cut it, and you're all good to go. Home, and you can snapshot it, uh, do a screenshot or whatever of your work. And this is it. This concludes part five. Um, again, I appreciate any support, like, and subscribe. And uh, stay tuned for more. This is part five of a uh, 10 part series. Uh, I thank you all for joining in. And uh, until next time.